First, you're going to get all your images together, probably around 50 to 70 images, and import them into Lightroom. For this subject, we want to get him centered, so we're going to create these lines. Right, then we select our images, and we're going to move the subject to the center. If the image is too large or too small, say it's like that, doesn't fit, we press Ctrl T, and we just uh, resize the image to make it fit, right? So I've already done this for all the images. As you can see, if I unhide the images, I've already lined it up so that the face is centered, right? Okay, so that's we've done that part. So once you've done that, next what you're going to do, window and timeline. You'll come to this, this kind of screen at the bottom left. So what you want to do is click this three dot icon, convert to frame animation. Okay, we do that, convert. So I've already got my timeline here. So what uh, we're going to do, I'm going to show you guys how to do this. Okay, so I'm going to select all of these and remove them. Okay, so that we only have one frame, right? So so once, once we only have one frame here, we're going to unhide all these layers. Unhide, 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 everything. until we get to the first image, right? First image, first image, unhide. I'm sure there's probably a shorter method than click, 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 click like this, but um, yeah, let's just do this. Okay, so we're on our, on our first image. Okay, so next step, we're gonna press this plus button at the bottom left, you guys see that? Plus button, and then we're gonna unhide each layer one by one. So we're gonna click new frame, next one, new frame, next one until we've done all the images all right guys we're gonna stop there so this next step doesn't really matter because you can change the speed afterwards so but what i've, I've done here just to see how it looks I've, I've changed all these intervals to 0 0.2 so that's going to determine the rate at which we see the next slide right so if we test this we can kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like. All right, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. That looks decent. So next step, what we're going to do, this is pretty important. File, export, save for web, legacy. All right, so once you've gotten to the screen, you want to click on original and save. And make sure to save as GIF. Once you've done that, import into any non-linear editor. And there you have it, my friends. You've got your flash cut sequence.